Good evening. This is uh, your teacher. I'm Ribuani from 10 Times Better Generation School Ministries. Uh, the ministry is headed by Senior Pastor Budeli. We are here again to continue where we left off. We are doing it in Christmas season as well. Because throughout, uh, we believe that the, the Word of God is the essence. It is the essence of life. It is life itself. We are of the opinion that when we have the Word of God, we have God Himself. Hence, we head on and we continue to do God's Word. Um, like I said, the ministry is headed by Senior Pastor Puderi. And uh, we are here to continue with our series, Doing God's Word. We have touched on Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Um, I think there's just a few more things left there to elaborate before we move to our next scripture, which is going to be uh, either today or next week, as the Spirit leads. We will start again in um, Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 until 27. I'll unpack it for us and uh, just read it through to make sure that we are all on the same page. 24. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them to practice is like a man who's built his house on a rock. The theme of this passage of scripture is the wise and foolish builders. It means that in as far as builders are concerned, they are wise ones and they are foolish ones. Exactly as it says there. And what do the wise ones and the foolish ones do? That is what distinguishes them. That is what makes the difference between the two. The wise ones, in as far as the word of God is concerned, they do the word of God. They live according to the word of God because everything that pertains to this life and the life to come, in as far as the believer is concerned, is in the word of God. And when they do the word of God, they are fulfilling the scripture, whereby we know that when we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, in as far as our lives are concerned, then God is mindful of our business. And it says that when we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, the rest shall be added upon. The rest is everything that pertains to our lives. It's everything good. It's protection. It's health. It's wealth. It's good success. It says everything shall be added upon. What is everything? Everything is different for, for me and you. Our needs and wants, they are different. And as everything that pertains to your life, you listening to me right now, when you seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, the rest that is sufficient, the rest that is necessary and relevant for your life, the Word of God says that those, all of them, they shall be added upon. Wise and foolish builders. Let's continue. 24, like I read, says that everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who's built his house on a rock. Everyone who hears the word of God and puts it to practice and be a believing and speaking spirit and be not moved by what they see but by what they believe and be a circumstance changer and mover by what they do and they say is ultimately fulfilling the word of God. They are a believing and speaking spirit. And they are therefore wise men. The narrative man is not limited to the male species. But both male and female. When you put the word of God into practice. You are exercising wisdom. It is an act of wisdom. You are a wise builder of your life because you are building your life on the Word of God. And it moves further to say that uh, in 25, when you build wisely, this is what happens. The rain came down. The streams rose. This is when you've built a, a house on the rock. This is when you establish your life on the Word of God. The streams rose. 
The winds blew, beat that house. The winds blew, beat you. The circumstances, they come against you to persecute you, to not make your life favorable at all. And it says that against you, against that house that is built and established in the word of God, that house did not fall. The circumstances will not make you fall. You will not fall because you are heavy, because you are rooted in a sure foundation, because you chose wisdom in your building. You chose to build wise. You chose the right material, the material of the word of God, the material that withstands all troubles and weathers and storms and chaos and circumstances. Like I said earlier, all the solutions that we need to live a successful life here on earth, they exist, they are in the Bible. The Bible being our compass gives us the direction. And when we Understand that we are believing and speaking spirits made in the image and the likeness of God. We embrace the fact that we have to continue with creation where God left it off. With creation whereby we are solving problems and issues that we encounter by the ways that we speak. Because when we speak, we speak life. And when we speak, we change circumstances because our words, they are forceful. Just like the word of God, our words, they produce after their own kind. They produce results. They produce victories that are certain, that are ours, that are guaranteed by the Lord, our guarantor, by Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. That, us, that gives us assurance as children of God that we ought to do the word of God to get results of the word. And unfortunately, if you are a Christian, if you are a child of God, and you are foolish, and you do not build your house on rock, and you do not build your house on the word of God, then you are faced with trouble. The trouble is, verse 26, but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them to practice, is like a foolish man who builds his house on sand. I'll tell you about that in a bit. Let's make a quick confession. You repeat after me. Thank you, Father, for I am a hearer of your word. And when I hear your word, Father, I put it to practice. I apply it in my life. I move circumstances with your word. I'm not moved by what I see. I move circumstances by what I believe. I believe that your word in my life, Father, is as powerful as you speaking it. Your word from my mouth produces tremendous and effectual results. Because I know that, Father, I've built my house on a rock. And I know that when streams when difficulties, when situations of life, they come to persecute me. They come to challenge me. I will not fall. I will remain standing. I will be victorious against them. Because I am established on your word. My house is built on your word. And Father, my foundation is your word and my results are will be that of the word, overcoming time and time again. Because I know that when I prioritize, Lord, to do as the scripture says, I'm fulfilling the scripture and I will get the results of the scripture. Good success, health, wealth, success, prosperity, just by doing your word. And I thank you for this, Lord. Amen. Let's move on. And expand on 26, which says that everyone who hears these words of mine but does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who's built his house on sand. Look at sand. 
send from a meta perspective, I believe, is not stable because it is moved by other forces of nature. When there is wind, it is picked up and it blows with the wind. Where there is water, it washes away with the water. Where there is storms, it is taking the nature of the storm. It moves with the storm. It is not, sta it is, it is not stable. It is... Uh, dictated upon by the circumstances around it. And therefore such a matter is unstable. Such a Christian is unstable because ultimately they will not be leading a victorious life. It is not a fruit of the Spirit to be like sand, to build your house on sand. Because when you build your house on uh, what is uh, not the word, what is uh, good to hear, what is not factual, what is not scriptural, then it means that when circumstances they come against you, what is not factual, what is not scriptural, is not there to save you. Because it does not carry substance itself, it does not hold fast, it moves with the circumstances. Then it is not for you, because it works not in your favor, but against you. And you would rather not have as a believer that, but you would rather have the word of God established on the rock to do the words of God, to do the word, to be fruitful, to believe and speak the word and be a victor. Consequently, it says further about such a believer who's not built their house on the rock. In 27, it says, when the rain come down, when circumstances come down, when the streams rise, when the problems rise, when the challenges rise, that house will be beat. It will the, the, the circumstances will bleed, will blow, beat that house, and it will fall with a great crash. You will fall with a great crash if you do not do the word. Why the great crash? What is great in you is the ability and the capacity that you are born of God and you overcome the world. It means that what falls there is an image and likeness of God. What falls there and makes a great crash is that you have the nature and the ability of God, but you do not use it. When you do not do the word of God, what makes the great crash is that, boy, oh boy, you are full with so much capability that you do not use. And when you do not use that capability, unfortunately, you suffer. And the greatness that falls there is that uh, you are made in the image and the likeness of God and you have all the weapons to conquer. But you fail and fall greatly because you have all the weapons and you do not use them. What is the essence here? The essence is, when you do not do God's word, you do not get the results of the word. Because like we've been saying all along in our teachings that, as believers, we ought not be stagnant, but we have to be circumstance changers. We have to be changers. We have to be doers of the word of God to get results of the word. What are results of the word? They are victory. They are health, they are wealth, they are good success. They are prioritizing right because we know that when we put first God and his kingdom, God puts first us and our lives and our circumstances and everything that pertains to our lives. And we are certain that uh, when we have God, we have his victory. We are certain that the victory of Christ is ours. We are certain that we have world overcoming faith. We are certain that circumstances, they listen to us. We change them by the words that we speak because we are image and likeness of God and we therefore exercise what is natural of our spirits, which is doing the word of God. Let's wrap up. Let's make a confession. We'll be introducing a new scripture in the new week. I hope you'll be ready for us. In the new week is going to be... Um, let me just check the dates quickly to make sure. 
just a day before Christmas Eve. We'll make sure you are power packed to 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 move on to Christmas Eve and Christmas with a winning and attitude. Let's uh, take our last confession here that uh, I am not just uh, a hearer of the word, but I am a doer of the word. I put uh, the word into practice because I am fulfilling the word by not just being a spectator, but being a hearer and a doer of the word. I am not foolish. I do not build my house on sand or hearsay, but I build my life on the word of God. And I know that I am a victor. And I know that I reign in my life. I rule and I dominate. This is 10 times better generation. School ministries, let us meet again next week in preparation for our brief but exciting Christmas message. If you've missed any of our messages in the previous weeks, go to our YouTube channel. It's uh, Ribuani Stanley Mampwe. This is 10 times better generation school ministries. Checking out. Have a great evening further.